So I want to take this time to clarify the angle that I'm coming to fashion with because there's just been some instances that have come up recently where I'm like, okay, I, I think I need to specify a little bit more about what I'm going for. So basically what I want to say is beauty is actually what is harmonious with you. So whatever the vibe that you give off, that can translate into clothes. And when we start to just dip into what trends or what's being put in front of us as like what's hot or what's fashionable or what's sexy, we start to kind of mismatch like our natural essence with what's being sold to us. Um, does that kind of make sense? So I'm saying everyone's essence like what is I don't know what you want to call it like your aura your vibe whatever it is that you're like putting off to people is the archetype and that's what I, I want to say is that you can put off you can choose what you want to put off if you tap into the different energies in your subconscious if you tap into the different personas that's already within you now we have one that's more dominant we have one that's more comfortable we have a essence characteristics that is probably more primal what we're going to fall back on when things get hard it's like kind of our comfy energy but there are different vibes there are different archetypes there are different personas you have access to and you can dress them and you can also use clothes to enhance that energy okay so I guess the whole fashion piece is I'm not interested in trends. I'm not interested in like the, um, and really styling or what's quote unquote in fashion. What I'm interested in is how clothes match your energy. <laughs> that's really what I'm interested in. And I'm using the archetypes to describe that. So that's what you're seeing me do is I'm using one dress, but I'm dressing it in seven different ways because there's seven different expressions that can be had depending on what I'm feeling, depending on the vibe I want to get off, depending on the version of Eleanor I want to be. So <laughs> that is, that's the point there. Now, uh, I want to talk about clothes and fashion kind of personally and where it's shown up culturally. So my sister came um, into town and she was giving me some advice on kind of the direction I'm going in and just she had some really good feedback and suggestions. So one of the comments that she made was if basically you have to look the part. She didn't say it in these words, but like if I want to go get my hair done by a hairstylist, she's going to have gorgeous hair. Right, and so it was in that moment where she was like, oh, she's coming across as like, I'm telling people how to dress in style, but my workout clothes aren't like what's hot, sexy, or like what's in, what would be considered fashionable by the modern standard. So it's like, okay, that was, that was good feedback for me, right? So that was like, that was interesting. Then I had a moment in the gym so now I'm going to talk to you about my kind of personal clothing evolution as far as working out. I had a moment in the gym where I was in the sauna and this guy and I had made eye contact earlier and he was in there and he uh, kind of took off his headphones and he was like, I feel like I know you from somewhere. Just as an aside, I get this all the time. Uh, just... That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing I won't, I won't get into. So, but anyway, I get this all the time. People always think that they know me from somewhere or they confuse me with someone else and are, are very sure that I've been places at certain times that I've never been. Um, so anyway, so I was just playing along politely because I, I've learned this is just kind of what I do with people when they do this. And he was like, have you done anything athletic and I was like not really just in my personal um like my like personal life 
but not professionally or where I think we would cross paths. He said, okay, he said, you kind of look like a soccer trainer I had. So this brings me <laughs> to something about myself. I know he was getting those vibes because of what I was wearing. What I was wearing was, I mean, I had on like short spandex um, that were like printed, but I was wearing black vans and a black tank. And it looked very like athletic. Like it, it didn't look cute fitness. Like it did look like, oh, this is probably something someone in sports would wear. So this, <laughs> this brings me back to my style evolution in the gym. When I started lifting weights, I was in college and it was 2013. So keep in mind, lifting weights wasn't really a thing for women to do until a few years later like maybe between like 2015 2017 it kind of started popping off where it's like okay yeah women for sure in the gym yeah it's like it's a thing for women to lift really heavy but that was not the case when I started lifting and so mind you when I did go to the gym I was one of like I could count on one hand how many women were probably in the free weights section lifting and even then any of the like the women who were there were either with their boyfriend or they were with another girlfriend like Kiki and like kind of like trying to figure it out so it was very unusual for me to be there lifting alone and actually knowing what I was doing so this comes back to <laughs> My second thing about me personally is I am very comfortable in front of people. I'm very comfortable leading. I have no problem public speaking. I don't mind. I don't mind looking good. I don't mind serving a look. But I will get very unconscious if I am receiving attention that I am not looking for. And for sure, while I was in the gym, this is what was happening is I felt like I was drawing enough unwanted attention that I was certainly not interested in wearing anything sexy or revealing on top of that. <laughs> on top of me already kind of being the outlier in the situation. So it was, I really wish that they were still there, like available, but I would wear <laughs> these um, like cotton shorts, not even like the sporty swishy shorts, like straight up cotton shorts and I loved them and they had like oh, they had like a loose waist and um anyway so it wasn't anything like what you see now which is just straight up spandex like that's all we're <laughs> that's all that's really like available now um and they don't even I haven't even seen what I used to wear in college like out in stores anymore but it was not until 2019 uh, when I started wearing spandex, I was in Hawaii, and I think this was part of it, is that in um, Hawaii, everything was so chill, and um, the dressing was, like, also very chill. So, no, like, women never wore a bra, ever. <laughs> Barely anyone was wearing a bra. People wouldn't wear shoes um, in the grocery store some of the time uh people would go grocery shopping like in their swimsuit tops i i straight up saw like a man uh <laughs> he had like this loose uh like cover up that he had clearly like been at the beach but he wasn't like he wasn't wearing shit underneath it so it's like but no one really thought twice of it and i think it was that climate and that culture that made me feel more comfortable and i started wearing spandex so i started wearing short shorts this was 2019. now after after some time then maybe 2019 um maybe even 2020 i started wearing yoga pants so mind you i had been lifting for 2013 for seven years before I even wore yoga pants to the gym because once again this is like the whole thing about um, just what felt comfortable to me and what I was okay with navigating the space 
So what I realized is people had said all sorts of things. <laughs> I look like a soccer player. And I remember 2018 in South Carolina, this guy was like, are those rugby shorts? And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> um, but I realized like part of what I was doing to uh, compensate for feeling vulnerable is if I wanted to wear something like feminine, it's going to be heavier on the athletic piece. It's going to be like, I look like I'm someone who plays an, like an aggressive sport, like soccer or rugby. And that was actually what I was putting off, which was the Huntress energy. So I still feel like if I were to wear yoga pants and a sports bra, I've never worn a sports bra to the gym, um, like baby blue or bright pink, like I feel like I'd be doing the most. Like that would be so extra to me and I know that's totally normal <laughs> and like and that's basically the standard especially um my sister lives in Vegas so I mean like that's basically I mean they're probably not working out in anything other than that but for me like that feels so incongruent with the version of myself that I'm bringing to the gym with like the Eleanor that I want to tap into that is not like the time or the place so I don't dress that way in the gym I don't dress that way when I'm working out like that lover energy that lover archetype is not what I'm tapping into in that space but other women are other women are still embodying that piece of themselves and they're dressing accordingly to go and work out so um yes so that is what I'm saying going back to the styling piece is I am not interested in telling people what's like what's hot and what's sexy and um you know this is going to be great because it'll make your ass look big i mean i want your ass to look big and i want you to look good and feel sexy but it's not going to be following the trends in a way that feels incongruent with who you are or what you're doing i'm never going to suggest that so that is just my that's my piece that's my personal anecdote and hopefully that makes a little bit more sense about what I am getting at as far as like the psychology piece the energy piece the clothing piece and then how it shows up in my fitness world so yes yes but as always just some thoughts